more and more people are adding videos onto their websites. More and more people are actually creating videos as well. So if you wanna add your videos or videos that your business has created or even external videos into a gallery, like a collection on your Squarespace website, well, you can, but it's not immediately obvious how you do this. Some people don't even have access to the feature. If you don't have access to the feature, which I'll show you in a minute, just drop me an email. My email's in the description and I can help you out. But I just wanna show you where this gallery lives, how to populate it with videos, and then also how to style it. So let's get into it. So we're on our site here. If we go into the editor and we find the section that we wanna add our video gallery to. So let's imagine it's down here. Here's a section I made earlier. <laughs> um, if we go into add a block and then we look for gallery. Now, one caveat here is you need to be a Squarespace Circle member, I believe, to unlock the gallery block. Very strange that they gatekeep this, but that's just the rules. So stretch this out and double click. Now, if I bring this up here, you can see we've got a plus icon down here. So we wanna click on add video. And then if I look here, this is my uh, my channel. I'm gonna copy the link address and I'm gonna paste that into here. It's gonna generate a thumbnail, it's gonna generate the title and you can write an excerpt if you want. I don't think you can actually see the excerpt, but you can write it if you want. So let's add a couple more. We'll add this one in. So same process, add a video. So number two is in, we've got the title, we've got the thumbnail. And then let's add one more in for good measure. So we'll grab that link, video. And then we've got the title and the thumbnail should generate. So we'll save that. And now you can see we've got this video gallery coming together. So double click again, and we wanna change the design slightly. So I don't wanna crop these images because it's cropping it really strange. So take the thumbnail amount down to uh, three thumbnails per row. And we can drop the padding if we want to zero. We can up it a little bit. Let's put some space between them. And then you can have it uh, open in a new window. I probably wouldn't, um, we'll, we'll see how it looks. Um, and by the way, if you did want to crop, you can crop like standard, or you can, <laughs> if you want, you can crop vertically, which just looks very strange. Uh, does widescreen work? Let's see. Widescreen works okay, to be fair. And it means there's less padding um, around the items. So that works well, and you can just continue to put rows in like that. So once you're happy, hit save, exit. And you can see now when you click play, it's gonna... I did a video recently, play in the box there. So really nice video, like slick video gallery. Now, and even though it says you can open a new tab, I'm pretty sure if we go into design and we go on to open links in new tab, it doesn't actually open it in a new tab. Uh, so let's see if I if I click on this, yeah, it's still gonna play on the on the page weirdly. But when we do the light box, so I've just been playing around. Then if we go to design and we click light box, that does actually work. So if we scroll down and then I want to play, which is ironic because create a light box. There we go. It light boxes up and you can actually flick through the different videos within a gallery. So really nice feature. Not sure why the opening new tab doesn't work. Maybe it's a Squarespace glitch. I don't know, you tell me in the comments. But anyway, hopefully that all makes sense. Hopefully it helped. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.